Hello, everybody. This is Young Family Tai Chi, Section 2. And today's new move is going to be diagonal flying, which is a relatively difficult move in terms of the physical aspect of it. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to warm up by starting from cross hands and doing everything we know in section two up to that point, okay? So starting at cross hands, we're here. Embrace tiger, return to mountain. Shift right, turn the left foot past the corner, shift your weight back, separate your arms. Pull in the right foot, swing, step, brush, strike, roll back, circle your arms as you shift your weight back and turn to the side. Press, pull in the right, attach the left and press forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, come back, over a ball, hands in front of your chest, and push to shoulder level. Fist under elbow. Shift your weight back as you flatten your hands. Turn and pull. Right foot goes to 12 o'clock. Press down. Ward off with the left hand. Push out with the right. Step out toward the corner, one line, two sides. Ward off. Step with the right, grab with the left, pull, pivot, make your fist. Change your footwork, lift up and punch. Step back and repulse the monkey. Swing, step, flatten your foot, hand comes to the shoulder, turn and strike. Two. Swing, step, hand comes to the shoulder, turn and strike. Three, swing, step, hand comes to the shoulder, turn and strike. How is that? Okay, I want to do a quick review on the last move, which is Repulse Monkey. And um, there are a couple of things I want you to be careful about. One is your footwork. So when you're at fist under elbow, when you start, you're at a heel touch empty stance. When you swing, step, and step down, make sure that your footwork is not crossed. Because when I turn, I have to make sure I don't cross, okay? So it's, it takes a little practice because you're stepping backwards, so you can't see. So once again, if you're here, swing, step, turn. Swing, step turn, swing, step, turn, okay? So your strength, the strength of your strike comes from your turn and pushing off the front foot. So make sure you have a good weight transfer. Yeah, this is the separating empty and full business, right? So when you're here, when you swing, there's no weight on the back foot yet. All your weight is on the front foot. When you put your foot down, you put your foot down and your hand comes to your shoulder, okay? That's all in one thing. Then when you're turning, you're pushing off the front and striking. So what happens there is that when you step, there's nothing. 
when you put your foot down, you're putting 30% on the back and 70% on the front. When you push off, you're now in empty stance with 30% in the front and 70% in the back. So basically, you're basically shifting your weight, 30, 70, 70, 30, as you go back, okay? So what I think of this as a um, brush knee backwards because it has that swing step uh, type of uh, coordination and your hand comes to the shoulder before the strike, okay? So if you're going from fist under elbow, when you swing step, except for the gaze, it's just like um, brush knee backwards. And then as you flatten your foot and you put your hand to your shoulder, it's just like brush knee because brush knee, you also flatten your foot and put your hand to your shoulder. And then when you strike, your hand comes to your hip crease and you're striking with the forward. So your forward, the forward foot and forward hand go together. So the coordination, swing, step, flatten, and then everything turns at once. The foot, the waist, the whole torso. Okay. Are there any questions on that one? Good. All right, now the next one, which is more difficult. Diagonal flying, I'll show it to you first. Okay, so what happens is after your three uh, repulse monkeys, one, two, three, what you're going to do is you're going to turn and strike to that corner. So you're going to turn, pull in the right, step and close, turn and close this foot. And at the end, I'm in a good bow stance to the corner. If I move my foot parallel, I have shoulders width apart between my feet. So what this requires basically is relatively flexible hips. Because if I do it in this direction, let's say I'm here. Uh, let's see. I have to go back to here. Okay. So if I'm doing my two, three, my left foot is pointed to the corner. My right foot is going to pull in and step out and then turn. Can you see that? And then I'm in a bow stance. So if I turn this parallel and I come back, I have shoulders width. The, um, when Fang Lasher first taught this, the first thing she said is, don't fall over. So, <laughs> so uh, you should try it. 
and then see how flexible you are. Because if you're at, when you start, you're at an empty stand, heel touch. You're going to pull in. When you pull in, your body turns to the corner to make it easier. Then you're going to step out and turn. And I'm already cheating because when I step out, I step out with my heel and then I turn my foot to the corner. If you watch Master Yang do it, he steps out and his foot is straight to the corner. He doesn't have to pivot his foot to make it go. And he has, he is really flexible, so he can do that. But um, if you do not feel you have a good enough balance to step out, you know, then there is a modification you can use, which is surefire and it's really easy. So if you're here, what you're going to do is you're going to step behind. It doesn't matter where. You're going to put your weight on the right. You're going to turn your left foot so that it's straight. And then you're just gonna make a bow stance. So essentially you're reversing the footwork. If you're doing it the way you're supposed to do it, you're here and you turn, you're gonna turn in any case, regardless. Your body starts turning first, you pull in. If you're doing the modification, you step behind. If you aren't doing the modification, you step out. Okay. So the when you're not doing the modification, if you're doing it the traditional way, when you come in, you're going to step out and then turn this foot in. And that completes your bow stance. This footwork is very much like the second fair lady. Okay, since you all know the third section. So instead of stepping out with the right and turning the back foot in, when you do the modification, what you're doing is you're stepping behind and then you're doing this first and then stepping out. You see what I'm saying? You're reversing the order, but you end up in the same place. Yes, Judith. When you finish a pulse monkey, your face, are you facing, are you face, you're facing nine o'clock or the corner? And when you're fit, when you're finishing repulse monkey, mm -hmm. you are here. Okay. And then so you're facing nine o'clock. And then when you when you are you're going through 12 o'clock to like 130. That was my question. Is it to 130 or is it actually just to three o'clock? No, it's it's to 130. Uh -huh. So what happens is you're here. You just did your strike. When you turn, you're going to pull in the right foot. So when your body is to the corner, you're pulling in. You're going to close and step. When you step, your foot should be at the corner. Oh, oh so your foot is going to the corner, but your nose or your, your torso is going to three o'clock. Uh, no, your torso oh. is going to noon, it's going to 12. Okay, that's where I'm confused, okay. Okay, so your foot is at 1.30, but your torso is at noon then. Yes. 
Thank you. I'm sorry. No. Okay. So um, the uh, so if we're if we're here, you've done your strike. You're going to turn, and you're going to pull in. Then you're going to step and close, and then as you strike out with the right, you're pulling in the left foot. And the right hand is uh, just in front of your uh, thigh, basically. Gotcha. Okay. okay. One yeah. of the things that often happens is people go and do this. They're turning and they get overly enthusiastic and they uh, move both hands out. So I have a question too. Yes. Um, if you know that doing it the traditional way is not, you don't have the hip openness that you can do it, should you just always do the alternative? Because it's been my experience, I've been trying for years to try to get it the traditional way and I end up bending over and you know, I just, it never feels good. I lose my body shape, so. Yeah, you should just do the modification. Okay. Because yeah. if you lose your body shape, that is much worse, okay? You want to maintain your body shape for a couple of reasons. One, maintaining your body shape helps your balance. And two, Maintaining your body shape allows your other, the other parts of the move to work normally. Do you know what I'm saying? I do. Because it, it, it moves your chi up, first of all. Yeah, it, it moves everything moves up. Everything up, yeah. Okay, good. Good thing to know because sometimes the modifications seem like a cheat to me, but in reality, <laughs> I can't get my hips to open like that. So I should just do the modification. So let's just do the modification. So let's say that your left foot is to the corner. Your right foot is heel touch empty stance. Okay, you've just done your strike. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn and then you're going to move your foot back. You're going to Shift your weight, turn your left foot so that it's at 12 o'clock, and then step and close. Open and shift weight. So in some ways it feels more natural, right? Because it feels like you've got your back foot planted and you're stepping out to a bow stance, you planted your bow stance and then you're shifting weight, right? So, you know, I think that it works, for most people it actually works better <laughs> than the traditional way. Right now I'm in socks on a linoleum floor and it swishes around. And that's, <laughs> it, that's kind of fun. Um, <laughs> I can see how. Well, it could be dangerous. <laughs> but, you know, you just have to try it. If your hips are flexible and you can move all the way out, great. If not, you should definitely use the modification. And um, for a lot of people, uh, they use the modification first until they get the feeling of the upper body, and then they can work on their footwork after. You know what I mean? Because the important thing is you want to get that feeling of shifting and opening. So if we're um, at empty stance, uh, heel touch, right foot forward, okay, you just finished striking, 
you shift your weight to the back foot. As you turn, you lift up the right foot. Step back. Turn the left foot to 12 o'clock. Step and close. Shift and uh, open. So you're striking as you shift weight, which is what you do in a lot of the moves, right? When you, when you shift weight, you strike. And the uh, application for this is a strike, okay? You're striking your opponent. And even though, since you guys know the third section, it looks like parting the wild horse's mane. Parting the wild horse's mane is a long ward off. It is not a strike. This is a strike. So it looks the same, but the energy is different. Okay. So let's try it. Okay. So actually, well, let's try it a couple of times first, and then I'd like to do it from fist under elbow. Okay. So if we are empty stance, right foot forward, strike with the right, left hand is at the hip, turn to the corner, pull in, step and turn, step and close, open and shift weight. And in the other method, it would be also turn, pull in, step and close, turn and shift weight. So how did you end up doing it, Judith? <laughs> Um, I did the old fashioned way. <laughs> okay. It's easier to do in socks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's do it a couple more times and then we'll do it from fist under elbow. Okay. So empty stance, right foot forward. You just struck. We'll do it the old fashioned way first. We're going to turn, pull in the right foot, step and close, turn and open. And the modified way, empty stance, strike with the right, turn, pull in the right foot and step behind. Turn the left foot to 12, Close and step. Shift weight, strike. Okay. So let's move back a little bit. We're going to go to fist under elbow and then do a few repulse monkeys and then go into diagonal fly. Okay. So if you're at Fist under elbow, you're at a heel touch empty stance, left foot forward. The right, uh, the left hand has just finished lifting, the right hand has just finished punching. Okay, so repulse monkey, swing, step, flatten, hand goes to the shoulder, turn and strike. Two, swing, step. Hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Three, swing, step. Hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Diagonal flying. Turn, pull in the right foot. Step and close. Turn and open. And we'll do it the alternate way. 
Okay, fist under elbow, left foot forward, empty stance. Swing, step, flatten, hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Two, swing, step, hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Three, swing, step, hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Diagonal flying, turn, pull in the right foot, step behind, turn the left foot to the straight, step and close, shift weight open. How did that feel? Any questions? I have a question on the gaze when you're when you're coming around and you've got your foot behind you, you're looking just over the middle, right? And then as you come over here and put your foot out, that's when your gaze goes over to the stripe. So your your gaze follows the dominant arm. So when you're here. When you're here, you're looking to the corner, right? And then as you shift back and turn your weight, you're, you're basically following your body. But then when you step and close, you're actually looking at the right hand and then follow the right hand to the strike. Um, the application for this actually is kind of tricky in the sense that it's like you get somebody, um, let's see if I can show it to you without another person. Yeah. Okay, when, when you're here, it's like you're grabbing someone here. Well, let's see now. You're grabbing someone here and you transfer them to this other hand and strike them. That's, that's the way the application looks. It's hard for me to, I can only describe it to you, but essentially it's one pulls and the and then you, you transfer to the other hand and then this is pulling back while you're striking. Okay. It makes more sense actually. Yeah. And, and, and that's why you have this, you know, left and right. And it's why your gaze lit. follows the right because this is actually the striking while this is holding it back. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, it's a so split you, energy, really. It is a split energy. So you're holding back with one and striking with the other. And in those cases, you follow the gaze follows the striking hand. Got it. Makes sense. Okay. Let's see if I can remember it now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with Tai Chi. There's a lot of little bits. <laughs> Yeah. Do you have questions, you? No, I'm I'm doing well today. I I'm whatever was off last week on this week, so I'm <laughs> good. I wouldn't mind going from cross hands, so and then the, all the way up through through that into diagonal flying. Um, okay, yeah. let's try that. Okay, we can do that a couple of times because then that'll give you a sense of the continuity of the whole thing. I like that. Okay, okay so let's start at cross hands. Embrace tiger, return to mountain. Shift right. Turn the left foot just past the corner. Shift all the way to the left as you separate your arms. Pull in the right foot. Swing, step, 
brush, strike. Roll back, circle your arms as you shift your weight back. Turn to the left. Press, pull in the right, attach the left, and press forward. Push, square up your shoulders to the direction of the front foot. Flatten your hands, come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, and push to shoulder level. Fist under elbow. As you shift your weight back, flatten your hands. Turn and pull. Right foot goes to 12 o'clock. Press down and ward off with the left hand, push out with the right. Step out one line, two sides as you ward off with the left. Step parallel with the right as you grab, pull, and shift your, uh, pivot your foot, change your footwork, Lift and punch. Step back and repulse the monkey. One, swing, step. Hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Two, swing, step. Hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Three, swing, step. Hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Diagonal flying, <laughs> turn, pick up your foot. Step and close, turn and open. So let's try it with the other footwork, okay? From cross hands. Embrace tiger, return to mountain. Shift right. Turn the left foot just past the corner. Shift the weight back, separate your arms. Pull in the right foot, swing, step. Brush, strike, roll back. Circle your arms as you move your weight back. Turn to the side. Press, pull in the right, attach the left, press forward. Push, square up your shoulders to the front foot direction. Come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest. Push up to shoulder level. Fist under elbow. As you shift your weight back, flatten your hands. Pull and turn, right foot goes to the 12 o'clock. Press down, release the left foot. Ward off with the left, push out with the right. Step out one line, two sides, and ward off. Grab, pull, make your fist, change your footwork, lift and punch. Step back and repulse monkey. Swing, step, hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Two, swing, step, hand to the shoulder, Turn and strike. Three, swing, step. Hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Diagonal flying. Turn your body. Pull in the right foot. Step behind. Shift your weight to the right. Turn your left foot to the straight. Step and close. Shift weight and open. How did that feel? It's coming, you know, it's still that when you turn after you pulse the monkey, um, I get to this point faster than you do. I get my arms together and you're still like out here. I don't know why. I, I let me it. do it from let me do it from this direction and maybe we can figure that out. Okay, mm -hmm. so if I'm at um, fist under elbow, okay, so one, two, three. So 
So if we do the adapted one, okay, I'm turning. I put my foot behind. I turn my foot to the straight. Step and close. Shift weight open. I, I can see what I'm doing wrong. I just have been doing it wrong so long that I'd have to practice doing it right about a hundred times as <laughs> usual. It's okay. The first step is seeing what you think you need to correct. <laughs> I do, I do, thank you. I You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Um, shall we do it a couple more times before we close class? Yeah, I'm, I'm for that. Okay, so let's do it from cross hands then, okay? Okay, cross hands. Embrace tiger, return to mountain. Shift right. Turn the left foot just past the corner. Shift the weight back. Separate your arms, pull in the right, swing, step, brush, strike, roll back. Circle your arms as you shift your weight back, turn to the side. Press, pull in the right, attach the left, press forward, push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, Come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, and push to shoulder level. Fist under elbow. As you shift your weight back, flatten your hands. Grab and pull. Turn. Right foot is to 12 o'clock. Press down. Release the left foot. Ward off with the left hand and push out with the right. Step out one line, two sides as you ward off. Grab and step parallel, pull, pivot on the left foot, change your footwork, make your fist, lift and strike. Step back and repulse monkey. Swing, step, hand comes to the shoulder, turn and strike. Two, swing, step. And comes to the shoulder, turn and strike. Three, swing, step. Hand comes to the shoulder, turn and strike. We'll do the traditional way first. Turn, pull in the right, step out. Turn the left foot and open. Okay. And one more time, and this time we'll do the modified one. So, cross hands, embrace tiger, return to mountain, shift right, turn the left foot, shift weight back, separate your arms, pull in the right foot, swing, step, brush, strike, roll back. Circle your arms as you shift your weight back. Turn to the side. Press, pull in the right, attach the left, and press forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands. Come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest. Push up to shoulder level. Fist under elbow. As you shift your weight back, flatten your hands. Pull and turn. Right foot goes to 12 o'clock. Press down, release the left foot. Ward off with the left, push out with the right. Step out one line, two sides, ward off. Grab, pull, change your footwork. Lift and punch. Step back and repulse monkey. Swing, step, flatten and hand comes to the shoulder, turn and strike. Two, swing, step, flatten, hand comes to the shoulder, turn and strike. 
three, swing step, hand comes to the shoulder, turn and strike, diagonal flying, turn, pull in the right foot, step behind, pivot the left foot, weight on the left, step and close, shift weight, open. Good. Okay. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> As always, it just takes practice. Yes, yes. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Rita. Okay. Thank you very much for coming to class. Thank if you. there aren't any questions, we will close. Thank you. I should dive in. Hi, Judith. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye.